Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. Let's talk about hypertriglyceridemia. It's a medical condition characterized by elevated levels of triglycerides in the bloodstream. According to Endocrine Society, it's defined as fasting triglyceride levels equal or greater than 150 mg per deciliter. It's categorized into mild, moderate, and severe forms based on the levels. Mild is when fasting triglyceride levels between 150 and 199 mg per deciliter Moderate is 200 to 499. Severe is when fasting triglyceride levels equal or greater than 500 mg per deciliter, with levels equal or greater than 1000 mg per deciliter, posing significant risk for acute pancreatitis. We'll talk more about the symptoms with hypertriglyceridemia in upcoming slides, but common causes are obesity, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, excessive alcohol intake, certain medical conditions, and genetic disorders. You can find a video about signs of high blood sugars from the top right screen. Hypertriglyceridemia characterized by elevated levels of triglyceride, like we said, but symptoms can vary depending on the severity. We can see certain symptoms like abdominal pain, acute pancreatitis, eruptive xanthomas, and leukemia ret retinalis in case of severe hypertriglyceridemia, which, like we said, equal or greater than 500 mg per deciliter. And like we said, acute pancreatitis is significant risk when triglyceride levels exceed 1000. Here you see eruptive xanthoma. We see this with severe hypertriglyceridemia, like I said. Other symptoms associated with hypertriglyceridemia include dyspnea, mental confusion, memory loss and flushing with minimal alcohol intake. And for mild to moderate hypertriglyceridemia, levels between 150 to 499, symptoms are less specific may include signs of metabolic syndrome like obesity, insulin resistance, hepatic steatosis, and diabetes. The American Heart Association and Endocrine Society highlights importance of recognizing the symptoms and managing triglyceride levels to prevent complications such as pancreatitis and cardiovascular disease. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch our other videos including signs you have acute pancreatitis and how to detox your pancreas. See you on the next one.